My name is John Paul Diversa. I grew up just outside of Albany, New York. And like many areas of our country, it's beautiful. Um, and it also struggles with poverty and employment and education. I really wanted to help. So I became a city planner with a specialization in energy. And a few years ago, I realized that if I really wanted to make a difference, I had to come to somewhere like Ohio, where there's still a lot of work to be done. So currently, I work at the Mid-Ohio Regional Planning Commission as the senior energy planner, where I focus on energy systems outside of the home. So that's everything from our transportation system to solar panels uh, on our businesses and also at the utility scale. I get to look at these opportunities to address climate change, environmental justice, employment, racism. I help create policy at the state level and I get to work with people in our local communities and organizations like Smart Columbus and also the YMCA. So I didn't know what a city planner was when I started college. I knew that I liked to read, write, and learn about it, everything that I could. I like to think about our different environments and reflect on what they are and what they could become. I happened to be really good at math, and I knew I wanted to make a difference and ideally travel if possible, right? So one day a guest professor came into a lecture and was giving a presentation on international planning and it all just kind of clicked. I changed my major the next day and I never looked back. During grad school, I ended up taking an internship with the New York State Energy Research and Development Authority. And I was hired by them within a few months. I took every project that let me work on, the most important being the New York State Energy Plan and the Greenhouse Gas Inventory. Science is what I use to understand everything. Technology are the building blocks that I use to build our systems in a new way. Engineering is how I put it all together. And math is the great translator that I use to convince everyone to make the world a better place. So if you want to do this kind of work, you have to understand statistics. That's the most important piece. You need to know how to use them, but probably even most importantly, how not to use them. So, so statistics can be really tricky and people will try to manipulate them to tell a story that they want to tell. And that's not the right way to go about it. So knowing the right way to use statistics is one of the most important, if not the most important pieces. Geographic Information Systems, or GIS, is also a great skill to have. It's one that I do not excel at, um, so I rely on people a lot to help me with mapping and spatial analysis. Probably the most important non-technical skill in this kind of work, though, is the ability to see things from a perspective outside of our own, and the ability to communicate that with all types of people. You can take a city planning degree into basically any part of the world and into any particular field that you'd like. So from health to politics, water, air quality, smart cities, agriculture, you name it. In my career, I've created the renewable energy and energy efficiency goals for New York State. I wrote the sustainability guidebook for the city of Albany, New York. I helped design a program for doctors in Senegal to reduce the mortality rate associated with burns. I built a home for traveling doctors in Ecbalam, Mexico, and I wrote the plan for a permaculture school in Costa Rica. Planning truly sits at the center of everything we do as a species, and there's a specialty in just about anything that piques your curiosity. The thing that I love most about my job is that my son is proud of the work that I do. He's a teenager, and so naturally, you know, we don't always think the same things are cool. Um, but we talk about my projects, and it makes him think deeper about the world and what our actions mean. Someone once said to me that the sign of a good person is someone who leaves a place better than they found it. I think I'm doing that, and that feels really good.
If you want to enter the planning field, go into it with an open mind. This isn't a job that you do for yourself alone, and the outcomes are something you may not even experience in your lifetime. You're building the future and a world for other people. If you have that kind of intrinsic hope in the world and faith in yourself, openness and determination, then planning is the perfect place for you. The rest is just math and science.